<laughs> All right, so uh, we're continuing on with making the ranch seasoning mix for the buffalo chicken dip. So right now I have a tablespoon of uh, flat leaf parsley in this and we're going to need two full tablespoons of it. So I'm just going to put one more in there and then we need teaspoon and a half of the dill weed. Just going to use the half teaspoon because that seems easier. Teaspoons of garlic powder. Or me while I struggle with this. There we go. Likely, I'm going to be your assistant sous chef, <laughs> getting you things you need. Providing color commentary. Good. <laughs> so after your garlic powder, you're gonna do two teaspoons of onion powder. Cool. Awesome. We don't have the luxury of TV where we just have everything already prepped. Maybe we should have. I was going to say we could have, but then you decided that we needed to record this. No, for the future. We probably would too, but. <laughs> Okay. We'll go dry the onion flakes. We're gonna have Ooh, onion flakes. Just give it a flavor. Cool. So I've made this this recipe before, uh, like a ranch dressing using all these ingredients. I've never made the actual ranch, uh, the dry ranch uh, seasoning mix, but I've used all of this mix in a, like a Greek yogurt to make, or like a, a homemade mayonnaise to make a ranch dressing. And it was awesome. It didn't last very long. So you can make a bunch of this on hand. This is actually gonna make a lot more than the recipe calls for. It's true. So you'll have a lot extra if you follow the recipe that we're gonna post beneath in the comments. Uh, if you're watching this in the office, you're going to have to ask one of us for the recipe. We'll share it on our Facebook page uh, beforehand, but just depending on when you're watching this, you may have to ask us for the recipe. We can get that for you, though. All right, and I added a teaspoon of the black pepper, and then this is just a teaspoon of the salt. And then I guess we need the dried chives. That is it. quite a few people were requesting uh, something healthy that they could make uh, for their Super Bowl party. So, and this actually happened to come from a certain patient, um, they wanted a healthy version of the buffalo chicken dip recipe. So I found something online and this is what we came up with. So here's eight ounces of uh, cream cheese. Thank you, Zach, for giving this spatula to me. Alrighty, and then three cups, wait, three cups of uh, diced chicken. And we just, all we have to do is just put all of this into this crock pot here that we have. it really easy so that you don't have to worry about a bunch of stuff on game day. You want to focus on the game, not having to take up a bunch of time fixing stuff in the kitchen. Sorry, that was a cup of Greek yogurt and a cup of two cups of uh, cheese, shredded mozzarella cheese, and then here's five ounces of uh, blue cheese. 
or four ounces of blue cheese. <laughs> Zach's correcting me in the background. And then this is a cup of hot sauce. And I believe we used the Cholula brand of hot sauce. And now all we need to do is uh, remember that ranch, uh, ranch seasoning mix that we made earlier. Well, we just have it here and we only need a tablespoon of that. So we're going to put that in there as well. And we're going to give it a good stir here. And there we go. Nice and stirred up. I'm going to put the lid on it. We're going to cook it on high for about an hour and a half to two hours time. That way you're ready to go for game time.